Hey guys, welcome to Evidence Show Tech. My name is Evidence. In this video, I am going to show you how to blur text, moving objects, faces, and static objects. So let's begin by blurring this text, which is a static object. To do so, you go over to File. Make sure you are clicked on this window. You go over to File, New, Legacy Title, and let's call this Title 8 and click OK. As you can see, the image that was on here appears on here. So you just select this rectangle, select this, and let's make this black just so it's more visible, and click OK. And just close this, and over here you find where it says title 8, you just drag it onto this and right click click on it right click adjustment layer make sure adjustment layer is on and come over to effect and let's search for fast blur you grab fast fast blur and put it on it and if you come over here to your effect control tab fast blur is right here so you just see where it says the blurriness you just increase this to however you want it to be let's say I put it to about right here that's good and from here you can increase this as long as you want it to be and just scrub forward and it will be blurred out throughout the text so that's one way that is one way to blur a text and a static object now let's move on to how to blur a fix a face and a moving object so let's say for example I want to blur out my face here. That's um the best way to do it is to use an adjustment layer. And to do that, you come over to your project tab, make sure nothing is selected, make sure you're in this tab and nothing is selected. You go over to file, new, adjustment layer, and the adjustment layer is sharp, you just click OK. And this is your new adjustment layer, you just drag this onto the clip itself and then you find the blur effect that you want and to use fast blur drag it on there and if you come over to effects tab you see fast blur right here and this fast blur corresponds to this particular clip because I'm select I selected this one and then you use this here this draw free draw tool and kind of select the object you want to blur And once it is selected, you can move this around. You can adjust the angles to what you want it to be. Once it is selected, you come over to blurriness and you increase the blurriness as you want it to be. And you see this play button? If you click this play button, it will track the object forward throughout this layer. And just and let it track it forward and wait as you can see here it is tracking it forward so as my head is moving the blur the blurriness is also moving with my head that's what mean, it means by tracking forward so once this is done you can scroll back and see that you can go ahead and play this and see that once you get the adjustment layers my head is moving the blurriness is also moving with my head you know until you get to the end of the adjustment layer and you can put this adjustment layer forward or back or like you can move it as far as you want it to be and you can click play and as you can see as my head is moving around so is the blurriness moving around it so let's say you get to a point where the blurriness goes away let me see here so let's get to something like this once you, let's say you're playing it and you get to a place like this you can track it forward manually by just adjusting this so you move it to wherever you want it to be and adjust it and you can move forward one frame this also move this back 
so you can track it forward frame by frame or you can track it forward automatically by clicking this and it will just track it forward for you and wherever your head goes or wherever the object moves um, the blood net also moves with it and you can adjust um, this adjustment layer to make it smaller or to make it bigger this is the best way for you to add blurriness to a static image or add blurriness to a moving object because the blurriness is an adjustment layer not on your video so you can adjust this at any time you can move it forward or backward and you can ch make changes to this adjustment layer without affecting your video and you can also copy the changes you've made to this onto a new adjustment layer so for let's say for example I go over to this and go to file new adjustment layer and click OK so you can drag the new adjustment layer onto here and you can right click copy and go over to the new adjustment layer right click and if you can see here when I click this adjustment layer nothing shows up over here but when you right click say paste attribute and just click ok and all the changes you made to this adjustment layer previously is now automatically applied to the new adjustment layer so this is really the best way to blur photos and videos and text alright guys that's it for today's video if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this one in the meantime i will see you on the next video bye